Dip, 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 dip. Yes, Squid Game 2 will soon be upon us. Um, right after Christmas. Yeah, and then the rest plays out in the following year. So there was a brief uh, teaser, but it had a lot of compelling imagery in it. Uh, and boy, did I love Squid Game. Uh, it's one of the best shows in a very long time. And But that also makes me uh, nervous that they'll mess it up. Because uh, really, the that season, if they had never made another, it would be fine because it, it was so well done. But of course, the determination uh, for the... Uh, what's his name? Gihan. I, <laughs> I forget that. America, come on. <laughs> but I mean, uh, for him to want to take revenge and get some sort of justice over these people who do this to uh, others in this uh, sick game that they play for you know the well-to-do and all that, uh, it's understandable that there would be. And but still, it, it's like he walks off and he's decided, you know, now I'm gonna I'm gonna take these guys down. Um, does he do it now you have to seem that it was but can they have enough angles and twists to make it compelling and interesting and satisfying based on just how bizarre a journey it was in the original uh, well it remains to be seen but of course it was very very popular and so stands to reason you're going to do another one so three years after squid game player four five six Remains determined to find the people behind the game and put an end to their vicious sport. Using this fortune, uh, find, it's what he won in the last game, uh, to fund his search, Gi Hun starts with the most obvious of places. Look for the man in a sharp suit playing the, the docky, I never, the docky, you know, again, <laughs> in the subway. But when his efforts finally yield results, the path toward taking down the organization pr proves to be deadlier than he imagined to end the game he needs to re-enter it so of course he's gonna get back into the game again because well how can you have a show called squid game with no squid game you know? <laughs> so it's like well what other means of by which would you tell the story and that would be quite the challenge uh, but uh, but you know the game is afoot yet again and I'm sure he'll encounter a new character who uh, and who knows, maybe he won't survive it, but the new character carries on the struggle against it. But I don't know how much further it can go. And it's very difficult to pull off something like this uh, and maintain that level uh, when a lot of the mystery is over. It's this weird group of people who are uh, very wealthy and powerful and are bored, so they participate uh, in betting on these games of people uh if they lose you pay for it with your life and all that so but the ultimate prize of course is uh, you'll be very wealthy but still <laughs> well the games are still going there's quite a few uh well not a quite a few uh, very brief scenes of the season but still uh i'm on board and uh hope it uh, works out something i'm probably not all that on board for <laughs> And I hadn't kept up with, of course, I pretty much tapped out on Star Wars. Uh, Acolyte, uh, of course, did nothing for it, uh, if not make it worse. And I thought Skeleton Crew was going to be an animated thing, but it's not. Uh, and, and Jude Law being the main star, but the ma main focus looks to be all these kids that are on the run and have little adventures with little cute aliens and droids and stuff. So the series follows four kids who make a mysterious discovery on their seemingly safe home planet, and they get lost in a strange and dangerous galaxy. Finding their way home, meeting unlikely allies and enemies, will be a greater adventure than they ever imagined. So, that's the deal. It doesn't really look all that Star Wars-y. <laughs> but then again, uh, the only show that really impressed me uh, for the... Uh, DP shows of Lucas <laughs> was Andor. I doubt that this will be on par with Andor, but then again, it might be a little lighthearted adventure and all that sort of thing. I just don't know that I'll bother with this. I mean, I guess if Tooncock wants to do it, we'll do it for that show, you know? And then, well, I took the time, so I'll do a video on it, but 
the Lucasfilm is just so far deep beneath the toilet at this point. I have um, no real confidence in this at all. But, you know, just a basic adequate space adventure will seem like gold by comparison. So I suppose that's the only thing you can really hope for. Um, but anyway, skeleton crew, you know. Meanwhile, another franchise that suffered terribly because there's really only two films that are worth watching, that being the first and second one. The third one I liked okay, but it was very repetitive. The ending was cool. After that, well, <laughs> Terminator. Uh, so now there's going to be this anime on Netflix, and uh, yeah, the trailer looks good, um, it, and it'll be split once again, but this time maybe even more so, which is what I'm hoping for, but I would rather more so to be have more emphasis on that future war with Terminators and all that rather than an, another time travel adventure and all that stuff. Well, guess what? It's another time travel adventure. They got us in the Terminator back and a, and a soldier to protect somebody who's important. <laughs> so, it's like, well, it's not really expanding things, but well, that's what they're going to do. So, do 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 A future war has waged, uh, raged, waged. <laughs> well, it could be for decades between the few human survivors and an endless army of machines. 1997, the AI known as Skynet gained self-awareness and began its war against humanity. So it's an alternate history, see, because we've lived through do 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 do, and uh, well, that didn't happen. But in this uh, timeline, it did. So you got to go back to 97 to try to fix it all. Caught between the future and this past is a soldier sent back in time to change the fate of humanity. She arrives in, you guessed it, 1997 to protect a scientist named Malcolm Lee, who, want, who works to launch a new AI system designed to compete with Skynet's impending attack on humanity. As Malcolm navigates the moral complexities of his creation, he's hunted by an unrelenting assassin from the future, which forever alters the fate of his three children. So... Uh, this one uh, plays in more that, yes, with time travel shenanigans, there would be alternate timelines. Uh, they do mention Skynet, so that's getting back to the original. Uh, some of the, was it Genesis or was it the Dark Future one where it was an entirely different AI system that did the same thing Skynet did? But whatever. Uh, it stands the reason that you could do this to expand upon it, and there's other stories. Um, it. The art looks good, it's you know, so maybe it'll be all right. I'll check it out, give it a shot, but not as enthused for it as I am with Skid, uh, Skid, <laughs> Skid Game, <laughs> the Squid Game <laughs> does season two. Um, but uh, Terminator is just, you know, like I said, it's, it's another damaged franchise that suffered uh, from one stumble after another, and I figured it's all but dead. Uh, and I Again, would have thought the future war would be a more interesting playground. Salvation almost did it, but they screwed it up. Um, and uh, this goes off into characters nobody knows, but yeah, that's, you know. And also, they're very special, so you got to go back in time and say, is this these Terminators are traveling through time all the time? <laughs> so, so hopefully it's an okay romp, but uh, for all intents and purposes, Terminator's done. So. You know, I'll check it out and see what it does. Meanwhile, what's to become a model? Well, you know, that Deadpool and Wolverine breathed some life into it, seemingly, but I think that's mostly just good news for Deadpool uh, and uh, wanting a little more. Whether or not they would do another Deadpool movie, I don't know. I think he will certainly have cameos in the upcoming Avengers movies and that sort of thing. But what Avengers will they have by the time they get there, along with uh, Robert Downey Jr. being Doctor, Doctor Doom? Uh, well, uh, there's not a whole lot left to form an Avengers with. Uh, most notably would be Captain Marvel, who was supposed to be the new leader and all the new big thing, and well, that flopped, and then that terrible Marvels movie. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out. So will she come back? I suspect she will, because there's no one left, you know? Uh, but uh, she was asked, Brie Larson was asked, and she said, I can't say anything, and I can't even say what I don't know anything, because that might mean there's something to say or not say, she said coyly. So I'll just say that I can't say. 
which is saying there might be something. <laughs> but such is the joke. But I think that's a yes. There will be some material, even though the movie flopped. But it's just a matter of they got to throw somebody in there, and uh, maybe it doesn't build well for Captain Marvel surviving the conflict for Doomsday and Secret Wars. Speaking of someone else who more than likely will never show up again is Kang. Because <laughs> originally, Doomsday was going to be called Kang Dynasty. Oh, but a little little scandal happened along the way, and especially there were some bombs, Quantumania, and uh, I didn't think Loki Season 2 was all that great. Although, Loki was the best performing show of the DP MCU shows. So TMZ recently caught up with Jonathan Majors and asked how he felt about Robert Downey Jr. replacing him in Avengers 5. He said, yeah, heartbroken. Of course, I love Kang. Major added, Majors added, Dr. Doom is wicked, though. So interestingly enough, uh, it's brought up to Majors that both Robert Downey Jr. and Ezra Miller have had a history of trouble. And he is asked if he feels it is unfair that he isn't given the same opportunities as them. So he responded that I think it's fair that Mr. Downey has been greeted with patience and curiosity and love, and that Mr. Miller has gotten the same treatment, and that they're being allowed to work their art and be creative at that level. When asked if he would want to play Kang again, Mangers responded, Hell yeah, that's what I said. I love him. I love Kang. I love he who remains. If that is what the fans want, they don't. If that is what Marvel wants, they don't. Let's roll. Yeah, said Mangers. <laughs> now, for narrative purposes... Uh, they should do something with Kang, but it looks like, no, I guess not. I don't know. Probably just a line of dialogue of Dune saying, ah, I took care of that. Um, but uh, it's an interesting thing here. Uh, now, with Robert Downey Jr., his problems had, you know, they were very uh, public, and it was a pretty bad place he was in. And actually, uh, you know, uh, Marvel uh, saved his career. You know, it was pretty much done at that point but he had genuinely recovered and seems to have uh beaten uh his problems with addiction and it's probably one of the most uh, uh amazing comebacks ever for one of these things. usually it doesn't end well uh for addicts uh, to that extent so uh it's a little bit different ezra miller is a little closer to the scandal somewhat uh that jonathan majors had to deal with uh, except Ezra Miller's was worse. <laughs> this involved underage girls and stuff like that. Uh, and I think he's done for the most part. Um, you know, maybe indie movies and stuff like that he might pop up in. Um, and, of course, The Flash flopped terribly. So uh, that's that. And uh, he only got to continue because they were stuck with him. You know, and it's like why there were, you know, Loki season two with Jonathan Majors and everything because too late you know they just had to <laughs> go through it you know uh but it's interesting in the case i'm not entirely certain that you know he comes across as quite the a-hole quite a bit but i don't know that didn't it, it just it doesn't seem to have been on par uh with the creepiness that ezra miller uh did but that's that he, he was convicted and so marvel well so long and uh, yeah uh the only potential for Kang would have been a recast, but it appears, nope, not going to do it. And um, it's Doctor Doom with Robert Downey Jr. and all that. So, well, speaking of failures and flops, uh, Doctor Who was also at the Comic Con, and uh, hey, boy, they they asked, hey, uh, you know, what about season three? <laughs> so uh, it says. Uh, he smi uh, Shooty Gawa smiled nervously and glanced at Russell, who confirmed Shooty's future on the show was up in the air. We've shot season two, but that's only halfway through, said Russell. We've got all those months of posts to come. It's a long way off, so no decisions yet. Shooty said playing the doctor was surreal and added, Still now, it is a pinch me moment. Well, we don't need to be pinching Shooty. Uh, so, and this was quite a while ago the rumors about Millie and of course she'll be doing some guest starring roles in the second season but she's that's it she's done there's a new companion coming and uh it was also there that it was two seasons and done for shooty 
And, uh, well, based on the performance, would we get a third one? And uh, I would argue no. <laughs> uh, it didn't perform well. It wasn't that great. And all kinds of problems uh, to it. There's really nothing left to mine from Doctor Who. And uh, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Unless there's some sugar daddy's going to plunk the money on it and do it i can't imagine why disney would bother if they owned doctor who outright they probably would because look what they're doing with their other bad shows they keep funding them and putting them out and uh they're terrible but it, they are disney properties whereas this it's someone else's property and said hey we gave you a shot and uh didn't work so so no i don't think uh, there will be a season three. But crazier things have happened. But uh, I can imagine it would look a lot cheaper than, uh, you know, what we've seen so far. Because, you know, it's pretty expensive effects in those series. Uh, and the fact that he's mentioning the post hasn't quite been done. I'm kind of wondering, is season two going to look much cheaper than season one? <laughs> uh, don't know. But odds are... And I mean, just business-wise, don't do a third one. Yeah. So, there you go. That's it for Doctor Who. Uh, so, best thing out of this, uh, Squid Game 2. We're really looking forward to that. And the Terminator anime uh, might be cool. Might be. Skeleton Crew, I don't know. Doctor Who, uh, so anyway, you're all caught up. 